very good afternoon my friends how are you <clears throat> i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome all this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking this will be a very special uh, live trading video because i'm going to use only the smaller time frames which i'm sure everyone likes because i'm hearing people complaining about the four hour and daily chart and the one hour chart so the question is can we use trend lines or support and resistance only with the 15 and 5 minute time frame the answer is absolutely yes it does work even on the one minute time frame and that is exactly what i'm going to do in this in this in this trading uh, video so let's go to the point now i'm on the pound usd and i can see that there is a small bounce is, is happening right now i'm on the 15 minute time frame let me now draw my trend line to confirm that this is a valid entry or not so those who have been following the trend line strategy they know that if we are looking for buy we need to draw the trend line on a resistance level and place it on a previous trend line resistance to catch the bounce now what's happening here is we have here a support trend line has been broken out by this bearish candle and we have this uh, small wicks here representing the new resistance trend line which has been broken by this uh, bullish breakout candle and therefore i'm going to oh my god what lot is uh, two this is so much 30 30 uh, 25 all right go for it now we can see because i'm using the three ESN account type from ic market <coughs> uh the trade is uh right on the spot the trigger area has been placed right on with where i wanted it to be that's because i'm using the true ecn account from ic market which is fantastic broker you have to try it you can join now using the link in the description so now again let me explain to you what i did here because maybe i did it quickly uh wait a minute i need to refer you to the videos of the trend line which you have to watch just give me one, give me one second so this is my channel and let me tell you something if you go to these videos like this one live trading using trend lines or if you go to um where is it the trend lines this one live trading forex using the trend lines this is a very good video and even these two these are the most important two videos to ex to teach you actually that strategy the magic of trend lines these two videos if you watch them you will know exactly what I'm doing right here in this uh, trade. So what I did was simply draw the trend line in a way touching all the top of the resistance trend lines here. And then I just drag it. And the, th the secret here is wherever I drag it, we can see that there was a valid setup occurred on the same level. For example, if I drag it on this support trend line, we can see that this support trend, li uh, trend line has been broken out and became the new resistance trend line then later this support trend line uh, after becoming a resistance trend line has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and so on so what i did now was placing the the line right uh, on this point let me tell you what i'm looking at right on these weeks here right on these weeks here because this was previously a resistance trend line has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle meaning let me just uh, zoom in more let me go to the five minute time frame so you can see it more <coughs> sorry because i <coughs> have some issues <coughs> okay so this is the resistance trend line like that and the trend line which i have drawn has been placed right on the top of this uh, resistance therefore we can see that this resistance now is about to become the new support now i believe is now the right entry if we go back to the 15 minute time frame we can see how the wick is being touched by the line and we can see the reversal happening right on the spot exactly on the line here that is fantastic trust me if you give a chance to this strategy you will be surprised by how many good setups you would get and uh, how strong it is it is actually a very strong strategy one of the best strategies i'm using for scalping uh, until this one finish let me go to the smaller time frames and try to find something good now i'm on the pound gpy let me try if i can find something here now the pair is going down we can see it going down and we want to catch the reversal 
meaning I want to get a buy order because the ga the candle is going down, right? So I need to catch a reversal. So I need to look for buy order. So what I will do now is I will draw not like this actually, like this. Yeah. So now I draw my trend line from this top to other top, and I will just drag it all the way, and we can see how it's perfect exactly. I did drag the trend line to touch this resistance trend line and also this resistance trend line as well which has been breaking out later now after the breakout this resistance trend line should become the new support trend line and therefore we can expect the buy order here right on the level perfect i couldn't ask for better entry so that is a really good entry and again i have to tell you again if you want to know exactly what i'm doing you have to watch at least these two videos best forex videos the magic of trend lines part one and part two then you can follow up by watching the live trading videos using the trend line strategy i have also one video uh doing live trading using all of the strategies um where is it it's just takes some time to find it uh you have also this one here, the secrets of trend line. Um, I have one video explaining how to trade with all the strategies. I don't remember where is it to be honest. I think it uh, this one live trading using three strategies. Also, this one I'm combining support and resistance, hit and run with the trend lines along with Ichimoku as well. So let's go again to the point. Uh, these trades are now going uh, nicely this one I actually have made a little early uh, entry which is not uh, that bad it's just like 1.7 pip away that's fine this one is perfect on the spot let me now go to the other trade on JPP CAD and again let me try to draw a resistance trend line I will draw it from this stop to this stop also <clears throat> and now let's drag it all the way to this <coughs> previous resistance trend line also the same setup we can notice how the pound has have very similar setups I, I have placed the trade almost all of the pounds have very similar setups because the pound is really sensitive when you buy it on a pair you can buy it on other pairs as well uh, there are just some exceptions uh, for that rule but it actually happens let's get out of the pound move to something else I cannot find something good here. Let me see this one. Now this one here, I'm on the AUD USD. Let me try to draw the trend line. And because the candles are going down, so I need to look for buy order, meaning I need to I need to draw a resistance trend line. So I will draw the resistance trend line like that. Now let me drag it and place it on the nearest resistance. Now the nearest resistance. Uh, resistance trend line is right here on this spot here which has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle we need to wait some more time for these candles to come down touch this level and then I can place buy now how do you confirm that your entry is valid that's a good question now let's apply hit and run rules here shall we let's look at the left what do we see we see a, a, a bullish breakout candle right here and let's look at the left we can see also that there is what there is a support right here so we can see the support level has been broken out also by this bullish breakout candle and also this support is gonna hold the position and also remain as a support later so you now you have two confirmations to tell you that this entry will be valid and you can place buy order right on this uh, level when the candle touch it now the question is where should you exit your trade now if you want to be safe again I'm telling you everybody by now should know this rule you should exit your trade at the nearest support or resistance now where is the nearest support or resistance It's just right here meaning you will place your trade right on this spot and then you'll get out once it reach this uh, resistance level that should be approximately about nine between eight to nine pips and that is really very good for a scalping trade so waiting for this market to go a little bit down let me try to find something else 
uh, USDJPY. Now look at that. The candles are going up, right? The market is moving up. So I need to find options for sell because I need to catch the reversal. So this time I'm going to draw the, the support trend line. Now let's move this support trend line and place it right on this previous support trend line right here. So this support trend line has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle. Now, after meanwhile, we need to wait for the market to come up a little, little bit more and then we can place sell right here. All right. Again, applying hit and run and we can confirm that our entry is valid because we can see that on the left also we have a very strong resistance as well. Not only here, but also here and even here. So you have three resistance levels all exactly on the same level. And the trend line is only confirming that my entry is really valid and it's going to work. So we have to wait for the market to go a little bit more up. Just one pip. Um, actually, you can see there is also a trend line here like that. I believe I will go for it. It should be fine. How many pips we can look for? Five pips. Now the question is where I will exit my trade. Again, the answer is at the nearest support, which is right here. So if I enter here, I'm going to exit my trade with about four to five pips only. Uh, it's fine as long as this is educational video and we need to show that the strategy works. And uh, I'm really happy to see my trigger has been placed right on the spot, exactly on the place without any spread. Only using IC market you can experience such uh, good and um, very nice <laughs> scalping uh, experience. Sorry. Okay, let's go now to the other trades. Now we have four trades opened. Let's check them out. Uh, pound USD and now it's bouncing. Good. Uh, GPP, GPY is already going in profit. Very nice. And again, look at the GPP CAD. It's going really nice, very well in the profit. And I forgot to set the tech profit actually. Uh, the tech profit will be at the nearest resistance, which is right here. The answer is right here because we have here a resistance, right? So the market, I don't think it will bounce higher than this level. Also this week here, you cannot underestimate this, uh, this uh, week here. This week here representing also a bouncing from this resistance and this resistance as well. So this candle is part of the resistance level. That's why I'm uh, considering it. That's why I set my take profit to be exactly on the same level because this is the nearest resistance. Nice, very nice. Uh, this one is still struggling, no problem. Uh, this one is reaching the entry level which I was expected in the beginning. That's not a problem at all. Still, we're doing very well. Uh, let's stick to the 15 minute time frame and let's continue to find good setups where we can show you the real power of trend line strategy. Those who didn't get the strategy might find it really hard, might find it uh, a joke, a hoax, but it is really indeed one of the best, if not the best strategies you can ever find in scalping Forex. Those who have understood the strategy, they really know what I'm talking about. So, I am now on the NZDUSD and we can see the market going down. And also here on the left, I see a support level and even here and here. So this is a support level we're talking about. Now we just need to, co to do, draw the trend line now just to confirm if my entry will be valid or not. So again, because I'm looking for sell order, uh, sorry, for buy order, I need to draw my trend line on a resistance level. So this is a resistance trend line. Now let's drag it all the way to find any valid setup. Hmm. What I'm seeing here is not really valid at all. Because as per the strategy, we should draw the trend line on the nearest support for for the current price right now i don't see any support level right here i'm looking right here guys i'm looking here 
I don't see any, sorry, I don't see any resistance. Did I say support? I mean resistance. I don't see any previous resistance, which is about to become the new support. Okay, uh, this might not be the good setup, and we can see how the market is indeed going down. The candle is going down. That's why I told you um, that trend lines is really powerful. It can confirm us if the trade will be valid or not. Now, look at that. The market is still going down. Uh, let me draw the trend line in another way. In, other, in a way that I can actually find, uh, let me tell you something. I will do it like that. So now I have drawn my trend line from this high to this lower high. Now I will drag it all the way. Still, I cannot find good setup. That is the power of trend line strategy. It can save your day because if I was just using hit and run, I could have simply said that this here, we have a support after the bullish breakout it's gonna be also a support but the trend line has confirmed me that there is no very setup that i can use for this trade and that's why we can see the market is actually going down more and more therefore the using the trend lines has actually saved me and that is fantastic uh need to find something else let's check the euro pound now the market is going up i need to find the setup where i can see the market is actually reversing to go down so i need to draw my trend line on a support level so it is going to be like that uh, let's draw it on the nearest support which has become oh my god i'm late i'm late uh this is way too late i'm gonna go for it it's late but i'm gonna go for it please just watch how accurate the strategy is because after dragging my, my my support trend line, which I have drawn right here, so I draw my support line from this low here to this higher low, and simply drag the line all the way to this support trend line, because this is the nearest one to this bearish breakout candle. So this is the nearest support, right? Just put your uh, the trend line which you have just drawn right on it. Look how accurate the entry was. If I catch this candle touching this trend line i would have been now in profit and with a very good reversal and can give me approximately i think five to six maybe even more yeah it can give about uh, eight pips of profit because this is right here the nearest support to this reversal at the resistance so my entry is late so what i'm expecting is about seven pips uh still not that bad now we can see all of the trades are going in loss so far and that is normal it's okay no problem at all we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen always if you see your trade going uh, against you you can just keep checking where the market is expected to reverse again so for example now we can see that the market is reversing here as actually continue to go more down so what i will do this trend line i will drag it all the way to touch this resistance trend line right here like that perfect now looking at the right we can see that this level has been also broken out by this bullish breakout candle and we can see there was attempt already of the support level on the same level here we can see support number one uh, has been created and we can now ch ch catch the support number two so let's just wait and see what will gonna happen I'm going to place another buy order on this level once the market touch this support at end number two. This is one of the times when your trade actually fail and you need to fix it. The way to fix it is to make another entry to correct your first entry. Now what I'm going to do is very simple. I will set my take profit to be exactly at my earlier trade, at my first entry. So I will recover all the, losses, all the losses and the first trade will have zero losses. It will be close break even and I will get profit now from the next trade. And again, using support and resistance with the hit and run uh, principles, we can see that here we have also support uh, level right here. I, I just don't want to hide it. It's just right here. We can see this. We can see these weeks here. 
the weak search uh, representing uh, a support level and this support will keep the position and remain also as a support uh, right now the trades are going bad in loss let me now fix also this one uh, we can see now uh, what I will do I will drag the trend line to this resistance trend line right here just drag it and we can see now my, my entry is even better than before another another buy order has been placed and what I will do also is set my take profit at the entry of the first trade very simple and very actually uh, helpful it will help you to reduce the losses don't rush to close your trade with a loss how many times I said that I really cannot remember but just be sure to have enough patience to understand the market give yourself a chance to be able to read the market how is it going if it's go if it goes against you just wait take a breath sit down and just try to read where this candle is going I can understand it's going against you you are losing money but you will not lose money until two things happen first of all if it hit the stop loss and second of all if I click the X button right on the right corner also another third option is getting a margin call which we don't want to happen at all that's why you have to be to be using a proper money a proper money management and please don't talk about my money management I am expert in this I know what I'm doing if you are learning Forex then you should use some proper money management and get ready for the losses because they will occur so anyway uh, now we have all these seven trades opened now I need to pause the video and I will come back to you later and show you what will gonna happen with all these seven trades let's now pause the recording just to keep you updated my friends we can see now all the trades are going nice in profit um, we have one of the threads hit the take profit um, let's see this one this one has already hit the take profit you can see the first entry has been uh, not valid the next trade is uh, now fix it fantastic very nice pound gpy hit the take profit now let me close this extra one which i have uh, which i have opened earlier and this one still now these are still bouncing uh, this one also approaching the take profit is very close to it the pound USD very good also we need now to wait for it to touch uh, the take profit so I will close the first one break even without any loss uh, this one still bouncing and it's gonna reverse right now I think I will just reduce the take profit to be uh, let's make it six pips that should be fine yeah six pips seven pips actually seven pips that's fine and let's see this trade it's approaching the level the first pound USD is now in loss uh, six dollars but the next one is in uh, 14 dollars profit very good I'm happy with that so yeah let's wait and see what will gonna happen I want to close these extra trades which I have opened earlier uh, because I need to avoid uh, the risk now we can see the market again going down that's uh, one of the things I, sh I actually do every day where I keep the trades running only for limited time then I close them that's one of the secrets why I'm in this, in this market until now for a long time don't be greedy don't be greedy don't be greedy that isn't the only thing I can open the whole channel just to tell you this word to be successful in Forex don't be greedy that's why I'm really thinking uh, that I have sh I should have closed the trade earlier uh, to escape from this uh, small reversal happening right now anyway I think the market will continue to go more up to complete the, the formation of the support number two but we need to just wait uh, some more minutes let's wait a few minutes guys and I will be back to you just to keep you updated my friends we can see the pound USD is reversing uh, very nice I want to show you the other pairs how they are doing this one please check out the reversal how it happened exactly on the spot look out the look at the candles they couldn't even close below this trend line isn't this amazing isn't this enough to confirm to you how powerful this strategy is it's really amazing if you just understand it how to use it and we can see the market still continue to go more up this one also please check out what happened the line which I have drawn here based on these resistance levels 
we can see how the market reached this level exactly on the spot the market didn't even go above this line here and now it's reversing performing these these three weeks here indicating that the market actually should now reverse now we can see the other mark the other trade look at how perfect the pound uh, sorry the euro pound has reversed fantastic also i will set my take profit right on this support level right here uh, this one is uh, approaching the take profit and please allow me to take it i think i will take it no no hold on hold on, hold on. because the first trade of the pound usd is in seven and a half dollars loss uh, that's uh, not good we have to wait some more time now allow me to pause the video for one last time before i close it and show you what will gonna happen with these uh, trades okay just want to tell you that i'm looking actually at the total profit which is uh, 10 11 dollars of a scalping session really guys this is not bad if you think about it just think about the total amount and in the end this was just a, a tutorial video to show you how we can do scalping with a profitable strategy and I have closed all of them total in profit I'm not sure how much but it was it is a small it was just like a 20 session imagine if you can do this uh, the whole day I did this in just 20 minutes you have the whole day to do the same use the trend lines on the 15 minute and 5 minute time frames it is really powerful strategy if you understand it just pick the safest and best uh, setups you can find and be careful don't be greedy just keep watching the market if the candle goes against you or the trade sorry go against you keep tracking it to know how far it will continue going what should you do shall you keep your trade running or not try to find the next setup if the candle for example goes against you don't give up don't close it yet just try to find where is the next setup that can occur if the market continue to go more up just no problem just wait to see how far it can go but also you have to be using a proper money management for example um, you are seeing the trade keep going against you all right uh, in most scenarios it will not keep going against you for quite a long time unless there is some news or something not normal occurring on the pair but in general you better set up a money management plan to use when you are trading for example this trade I'm not planning to you to lose more than $20 so maybe the trade will keep continue to go against me but i'm still on losing of seven dollars for example so the ca the trade i'm i can expect it to if it will go up more it might reverse on this resistance and i will be so far in just ten dollars loss so the market is going against you and you are losing so far but you are planning to not lose more than twenty dollars maximum from this trade using a small lot size and the proper money management again i'm telling you just keep expecting where the market is going to reverse let's say the market just continue to go even more even more and more and more and the 20 dollars barrier has been approached then just close your trade with the loss 20 dollars uh, loss for example from uh, 300 or 400 dollars account that is very easy to recover and it's nothing to mention that is normal to be happening actually so that is what uh, that is what i have uh, wanted to tell you in this video that you can use uh, trend lines in your scalping session and also keep following the candles to know where them they might reverse where is the next uh, setup can uh, occur and use a proper money management just to control your losses so you will not lose more and don't wipe your account of course if you are waiting for the candles to be again in your direction so guys i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching